is a Japanese artist who has left beautiful legacy in Holland and in the heart of many Dutch artists. His name is Jiro Inagaki. After he passed away in 2008, a Jiro Arts Foundation was set up in Amsterdam in order to promote a Japanese, European cultural and artistic exchanges. And I represent uh, the foundation and curate exhibitions. So today I'd like to share uh, a story about Jiro and would like to introduce some of his beautiful artworks. So um, there are three things that I would like to uh, pinpoint, which is one is uh, the mastery, the Japanese way of mastery in three stages. The second is his work heavily connected with nature as most artists. So the second point is nature. And the third is uh, how he influenced and how he connected with that artist. So Jiro was born in 1933 in Kanagawa near Tokyo in Japan and he was traditionally educated as a kimono designer. So he became a kimono designer notably for Japanese imperial family. So he worked in a Japanese traditional more like old-fashioned art society and Japanese art world and he as an artist he also uh, evolved and developed and he particularly started finding interest in different uh, art materials and one was the paper Japanese traditional paper so in his 40 <coughs> he left Japanese uh, traditional art world in Tokyo and moved to Nagasaki, where there is abundance of nature and famous for pottery pottery making near Arita. So he worked with his hands. Sometimes he made pottery and he pursued and he mastered uh, the way to make Japanese paper in a traditional way. And then uh, his work uh, evolved of mixing different media and as you can see now this is his works as an artist together with make, mixing with uh, different materials and uh, as a collage but particularly the way he made his own art was really inspired by nature and uh, mixing with different materials you can see this is a bit like, for me it's like a bamboo forest. But these materials, he goes to the beach and he picks up what he just finds it and makes nature in his own canvas. So um, during his involvement, uh, he had also traveled around Europe and had exhibitions. And he got to love Holland. Uh, he has actually came to stay uh, in the medium long term. He had a studio in Hilversum and he loved this area, Hoi, where I am. And he was teaching and working together with Dutch artists. Um, so um, he taught how to make paper with hands. Um, the Dutch artists such as Petra Polen, uh, at Arma, Peter Schenk. So they have uh, learned and also they have actually influenced um, Zero in terms of the that minimum, minimum way uh, of working and uh, in a Dutch design as well. So um, the, f the first thing is his mastery. It's not only him, but also uh, in my previous talk, I talked about Shinoda Toko. 
So um, the three stages in acquiring skills and techniques, and especially this is like organic growth for any artist or even for ourselves in our life. The first stage is doing the basics and mastering and with repetitive work to build foundation, good foundation. And in Jiro's case, uh, he has studied kimono design and in a traditional Japanese way. And then he, he has actually um, mastered the basic skills as an artist. The second stage is called uh, Ha, it's to break. So in his case, uh, he left the familiar to unfamiliar. So in the second stage, it's also uh, quite, uh, yeah, it, this is like even in the butterfly, you have three stages. In the second stage, it's unknown. It's uh, the time that you explore different skills and how to find out who we are, really. And then um, third stage is to transcend. Li is to detach and transcend. In the third stage, combining with the basics and foundation and what you explored and then create really your own style. So that's um, every, our, every stage is, we don't try to go somewhere, but we really in the moment of doing what we are given to do. And then in the third stage, um, it's just combination and uh, you discover and found it so comfortable in what you find and what you accumulated. So this is what you see in his case. Um, all his three stages are combined and you see it here. And second point that I like to emphasize is nature. So um, he said, nature is my master. So nothing greater than nature or universe. So if you see his art in silence, it emerges and probably his uh, composition is also, um, if I see, my grandmother was a kimono maker, so I'm very uh, associated with uh, kimono. And I can see the design of kimono in his artworks, but also the uh, it speaks the nature. This nature comes out in March, so it's a natural composition. And the third point that I wanted to uh, talk is his interaction with a Dutch artist. So I have been. Um, I have also became friends uh, with, for example, Petra, um, who has learned how to make paper from uh, zero. And this is her work. Um, all the artists that zero uh, encountered. And I, I spoke to them. And what's in common is all of them are also making their work from the same space, which is divine energy, nature, universe. And Petra is also, her theme is the space, universe, uh, unlimited um, energy. I sometimes organize exhibitions and uh, together with haiku, my haiku, uh, to connect, to bring the um, the nature of the moment to his artworks. So if you like to know more about um, his works, please visit my website. And also if you wish, wish to uh, see his works, um, please contact me and make an appointment. And I'm organizing private viewing at the moment. So all his works are available for sale and all the proceeds goes to the foundation 
and to organize cultural and artist exchange between Japan and Europe. Thank you for watching.